Yeah. What website is this? Uh, this is MidwestTransit.com. There is a couple sites that I looked for buses on. Another one was Don Brown. Uh, I bought mine from First Student, which is also Greyhound. Buyer beware, they might lie to you. <laughs> so do your homework, inspect the bus before you purchase it. So we're just doing a little search for fun because these guys have great prices. I'm gonna guess and say that you guys could find a bus for two grand or under. But what happens is when you get it from salt, the salt belt states, you're gonna have some undercarriage salt issues. You're gonna have a bus with like 300,000 miles. And sometimes if an injector goes out, you're looking at like a two or $3,000 job. So that's with or without labor. Oh, that's with labor. Okay. <laughs> the, each injector is about 200 bucks. Okay. And to pull it off is, is, is a lot of work. So we're just searching through here. I did uh, used for the school bus. Um, I left everything alone except for the years because we're going to look for a cheap one. So we're going 2003 and older. Doing the price, zero to $10,000. Uh, I selected a few engines that are more reliable. Uh, miles, don't mess with that. Uh, it, they're all going to be hydraulic brakes. You can choose, do you want to do diesel or gasoline? I would prefer diesel if it's going to be high mileage. Let's let's see let's see what it pulls up. You want to just pull up everything? Yeah, I think We're, it's going to pull up maybe like 15 maximum. We got 2000 on the GoFundMe right now. They're going to take 8% out. Mm -hmm. Just figure there's going to be a couple of little ancillary costs in going and getting it and stuff. So, you know, 1600 1500 those those would be great numbers. Okay. Now I just got to figure out how to do this uh, hit go. <laughs> There we go. All right, here we go. Used 1998, all these years, engines, vehicles. All right, here's what we pulled up. Um, that one, I don't, I don't know. I think that's a full-size bus. Yeah, T44E engine. That's a great engine. That's also known as a 7.3. Okay. Uh, international made Ford's engine. Here we go. Um, here's a 99 GMC Thomas, 1500 bucks. Um, That's a short one. That is a little shorty. It looks like four windows, and it looks like a looks like I think it's a wide body. So it looks like you're gonna have a dually. I'm gonna get in your way a little yeah. bit. But just, yeah. So let's click on that. This one has a uh, This one has 234,000 miles. It's a 20 passenger with a 6.5 liter diesel hydraulic brakes. Let's see if there's any notes here. Disclaimer based on EPA. Okay. Nothing there. Uh, dealer comments available now. Capacity is 20. I would say give them a call and ask them what the condition is. Okay. And when yeah. you ask them what the condition is, you're looking primarily for is there a history on what they've done with those injectors? Uh, there. So when you buy it from one of these places, a lot of times you're going to get the uh, mechanical history with the vehicle because we're talking school children used to ride in this thing. There's a ton of regulations. They have to change tires every certain amount of uh, miles. They have to take care of it because if that thing stalls out on the freeway and gets hit by another car, that's a huge liability. Plus, you wouldn't want to do that to 20 kids. So they're going to most likely have the records. But There's a lot of preventive maintenance that goes into these that wouldn't typically be in a vehicle that's made for commercial use because of its use. Yeah, they. I mean, there's, there's real strict rules about this. They have to. This has to be a, a safe vehicle. But they also have to get rid of them after a certain year because they're, you know, they have to keep them current and stuff. All right. So. So. Do you want to call them? Yeah. Go ahead and do that if you would. All right. All right. Contact us. Oh, we can just get the number right there. How many bars do I have? Okay, so, so you I got, got three, three bars. bars. So I'm probably okay. So there. Is, it, is this your? Is this, okay, click on phone. Wait a minute, uh, that might not be a good. Uh, here, I can do it on mine. Okay, I just have a VoIP, but I think you were getting ready to do it on the VoIP. Okay. <laughs> Unless we type into or tap into. <laughs> I'll, I'll just gyms. call. Uh, recent, yeah, so eight hundred. Surprising. But it doesn't matter if it's if I use the VoIP. It's just Wi-Fi. So you gotta go. I've done this before. You gotta go. You gotta press some buttons. You gotta use sales. Can we speaker it? Recorded. It's your quality customer service. Good afternoon, Mr. Transit. 
Hi, uh, could I have used sales, please? Certainly. Um, who's available? One moment. I mean, like Mr. Tom Buell should be. One moment, please. Sounds like a good guy. Tom Buell. Hey Tom, my name is Jax and I am on your website looking at a uh, used 99 GMC Thomas bus for sale. I can give you a stock number. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, it's 185-312. Okay, that unit's up at our Marshall, Michigan location. Uh, still available. Uh, what kind what kind of notes on the engine are there, if any? What's the condition? Well, the cosmetic part of it is very poor. Um, mechanical part, it just says average. It's got a 6.6 six in it, which I think is actually a 6.5. Uh, I think they put a 6.6 six in a 1999. So um, we've not done any work on the engine, so it drove on its own, but it will be pretty rough. It's okay. going to have a lot of rust. Um, so, look at the photos and see if they got a photo on this thing. Now, for a, a, a bus like this, um, how much money do you think would be needed to put into it to make it pretty roadworthy and reliable? I have no answer for that. Um, used buses, each individual bus is different. Uh, it could need rotors, brakes, heat, blower motors. I mean, you name it. Uh, you'd have to go look at it personally. I can see the back door has got rust at the bottom. It's been used in Michigan for all this time, so it's you know an 18-year-old bus with 234,000 miles of a 6.5 diesel engine. Usually, around 200,000 miles of valve covers go puts on those things. So the school could have already done the valve covers. If not, then you could be looking at you know extensive repairs pretty soon on a bus like that. Okay. But to, to give you a, a price tag, I, there's no way anybody could do that. Right. Blindly. Okay. Yeah. Now, so, now, maybe you could help me find a good bus that you might have in stock with a budget of up to maybe 2500 bucks. Right now, there is no such thing. Okay. Uh, we may have some July, but anything that's under $5,000 in our inventory has been picked apart cherry picked since Christmas. Okay. And, and well, uh, nothing uh, right now that I would say under that price tag. You know? uh, so, uh, when do you get the bulk of your buses in? Well, pretty soon. So, school's out. Uh, so, okay, so you, you get. June all the way through July. Okay, June to July, and then you get a few, I'm guessing, winter break as well, maybe? Yeah, but it's real small now. I mean, really, the brunt part of the season's just about to come up. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, all right. Well, maybe we'll try back in June. Yeah, that's definitely what you should be. Just keep your eye on the website, and if you see something that you really want to pursue, but you don't have any photos yet, obviously, uh, don't be shy about putting a deposit on it because you'll never see it if it's under five grand. Pretty soon, it'll be gone. Okay. We we might. Um, do you have a direct line? Because we we might uh, be in contact sure. here. Uh, let me see if I can get a pen. Yeah, just uh, twelve fifty four. Uh, extension 1254? Correct. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for calling. <laughs> All right, take care. Bye. All right, so, really honest guy. When I called this company before, they gave me a real honest uh, lowdown as well. Kind of my opposite experience of first student. We could call them too, but I kind of know what's going to go on. Looks like most of the buses come up in June or July, so maybe that's something for you guys to keep your eye on. Um, but otherwise, you know, you can find them for this much, but you, you know, you might think in, oh, you know, 1500 bucks, that's a steal. That's nothing. I got, you know, 2000 bucks. I have 500 bucks left over. Well, you might be spending a lot more than that because it sounds like that bus needs a lot of work, you know, so. It sounds to me like from what I'm taking away from this, Michigan is probably a write-off as a source for vehicles because of the, the what is it, sodium? The uh, salt. It's a salt belt. Yeah. They use salt on the road, so anywhere they do that, that's best state to get it, Arizona, maybe second best. 
uh, New Mexico, <laughs> maybe third best Texas, you know, somewhere, right. you know, California would be a good state too. Um, but yeah, like you said, that's 18 years old. Right. And my van is, uh, to be fair, 21 years old. And, and um, so I'm not afraid of the age, but I do know that every ancillary on my uh, vehicle mechanically has been has been swapped out. The yeah. starter, the alternator, you name it. Yeah. Yeah. So we need to just plan on, you know, making sure that we don't have something that's um, that's that's set up to fail. Yeah, and it's not necessarily those components that are super expensive, like a starter and an alternator and stuff. Like those are normal things that go out. But the labor, <laughs> any mechanic's going to charge you like eighty bucks or hundred bucks an hour to install stuff. So then it depends on your own skill set can you put in you know the stuff that's gonna go out that will go out because it no matter what if it's a bus or a car once you hit a certain amount of miles stuff is start is gonna start to break what's your history with uh, school buses as vehicles uh well I, I have had a roller coaster experience I have a 7.3 liter Ford uh, power stroke turbo diesel and um, I bought mine from first student they said the air conditioning worked and everything was great turns out it didn't work it cost me a couple thousand dollars uh, I had an alternator blow out on the freeway so then I installed it for the first time in the parking lot of O'Reilly's <laughs> so now I know how to do that I've been there yeah um, but otherwise it's good if you get one that <laughs> Is a if you get one with with a good engine with uh, components that will last for a while. I mean, I have one of the strongest engines, diesel engines ever made. Do you have a, a interview of your van or of your bus? Online? Uh, I will. It should be up in a week or two with uh, Bus Life Adventure, but we can go do one if you want. Okay, we'll do yeah. one. What's the uh, website or how do people see? It? Oh yeah. By the way, I'm doing daily travel vlogs in Dan the Adventure Bus. My YouTube account is Jax J A X Austin, like the capital of Texas. I got over 200 videos up. So come say hi. Let me know you came from uh, from this channel, and uh, you know, I'll see you over there. All right. Sounds good. Tamara, if you're watching this, we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. We're going to see what other buses we can find. He's got a really nice uh, shorty, and so the way he's ducked out the inside of it is uh, consistent with what uh, I would like to have as a final for you. Look at the dust out that window. Oh, man, it's going up. crazy. I'm so glad we didn't end up at <laughs> Angel's Landing today. Yeah, let's, let's look for another school bus in Search Tempest. Okay, Search Tempest. Yeah, that that it's like a Craigslist a aggregator. Um, school bus. Any advanced phrase. Let's do any search. Give me your zip code. Okay, let's do and I know two nine one. That was my last area code in Venice Beach. We'll do any distance away. And all maybe oh my gosh look at all these tabs it opened oh my gosh <laughs> all right so we'll go ahead and get this up so people can uh, can get an update on what's going on with her search and I'll come back and post what we find on this we're just out looking for a van or a uh, schoolie or something for Tamara see you guys on the next upload and this is Jax <laughs> helping out See you guys. There's Savannah. <laughs> See ya. I'm out here at the Van Build 2016. We're getting ready to wrap this up pretty soon and just wanted to um, say a little bit about Patreon. Uh, as I've been out here, I actually got solar built and a bed built. Uh, those things, some of them has been on tape a little bit. This is a very worthy cause. Uh, it would be very helpful for for y'all to support. I plan on supporting this this cause here. Um, there's lots of work being done for basically free of charge. People are putting in some money towards their supplies, but some people come and and they don't have that at all, and they're still getting uh, things done that they need through Jamie and his group. So. Uh, if you can throw some support his way, he could really use it. Thanks.